Hello, welcome to Daryl's Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make a spinach omelet. This is one of my favorites. It's not the easiest to make, but it's healthier, cheaper, and tastier than going to a restaurant. When my friends and family come to visit, I often find myself cooking an omelet just like this one. I've already prepped the ingredients as you can see from the picture, and after the prep is done, I'll spray the cold pan with non-stick. Then I'll add about two cloves of chopped garlic. You can also add onions if you like. Then I'll add about a half a cup of sliced mushrooms. And usually I'll let them cook in low heat and simmer in their liquid. But the cup of cut up spinach I add will cook down fast. So I don't need to do that. To prevent stewing, I don't cook the tomatoes. Instead, I season this with pepper. And sometimes I'll add a dash of salt. I'll let the food cook until the spinach shrinks down, and then I'll stir the mix with a spatula. I'll continue to cook it until it reaches my desired tenderness. One of the greatest things about this omelet is that you can use vegetables that are lingering in your refrigerator and use them up before they go bad. After the vegetables cook, I'll quickly rinse and dry the pan before adding nonstick. Many times with this dish, I'll use two egg whites for a healthier choice. But today, I'll use the entire egg. Since the frying pan is hot, I'll make sure all my ingredients and seasons are close by and ready for use. Then I'll quickly swirl the pan around to ensure the eggs spread evenly around the bottom of the pan. This will help the eggs cook evenly and provide more surface area for adding the filling. Now I'll add a little pepper, some cheese, and the vegetables. And look at all those delicious looking ingredients. I can't wait to taste it. I know it's going to be good. To complete this wonderful dish, I'll remove the omelet from the frying pan and carefully place it onto a nice clean plate. And to finish things off before serving this dish, I'll add some parsley to top it off because presentation is everything. Thank you for joining me in this culinary adventure. I hope you enjoy this omelet as much as I will. Bye now.